Gonna try to make this a quick video. A few days ago, I got a uh, 3600 watt inverter generator uh, by the company Wen, Chinese company. Got it on Amazon, it was just under 500 bucks. There's a dog in the way, there he goes. Did, I, um, I thought I'd do a quick video here just to kind of show you what you could run with it on my uh, Sunlight 16BH camper. That's primarily the reason I got it. I'm not going to go over all the details of this thing. You can look it up, all the specs. I'll put a link to the Amazon listing in the description so you could check all that out. But uh, really quickly here, let's see what you could do with it. And yes, I did the break-in period. I know there's going to be someone already thinking that in the video. I let it run for eight hours on a very low load. Changed the oil, so this is the uh, second uh, set of oil inside. It's ready to go. It could take a full load now if necessary. Okay, got all the lights on. Exhaust fan in the bathroom. Lights, lights, lights. Not even having an impact. Got the TV on as well. Got the uh, hood exhaust and light on as well. Water pump is running. Water's coming out. All right, here's the real test. All that happening simultaneously. Let's put on the air conditioner. cold air so you could see with everything running including the air conditioner I'm just at about half capacity I guess that means probably a little bit over half capacity now I'm just running the air conditioner in the fridge and now with everything off except for the air conditioner and the fridge it's the same basically just a little bit over half capacity so basically the lights the water pump the exhaust fan the stuff over the the range None of that has any real impact on the capacity. That's negligible. All right, now we're gonna do the microwave by itself. So, microwave, taking it right up to half capacity again, basically the same as the air conditioner. So, no problems running the microwave or the air conditioner with all the other stuff, no issue at all. But what if I try to run both the microwave and the air conditioner simultaneously? I've got a feeling it's gonna trip it up. All right, microwave is running. Let's see what happens. Air conditioner's running with, oh, and there it goes. It lasted about uh, 10 seconds before it tripped the breaker. All right, so everything is fine, except for air conditioner and microwave at the same time. And that's completely what I expected. Um, other people that have done reviews on this thing, that's basically what they say. It's one or the other, but not both. And that's 100% fine with me. I'll never do both. In fact, I hardly even use the microwave most of the time. So, no sweat. All right, so now we're running it with the air conditioner to see how loud it is. So you could see it's about 85 decibels when running the air conditioner. Now it's in eco mode with the air conditioner turned off. This is how it would be running if you're just charging up your batteries, using the lights, the water pump, the basic stuff. And it's only a few decibels lower. I gotta tell you, in real life it sounds a lot quieter in eco mode. I'm not so sure how accurate this decibel meter is on my phone. Probably not very accurate. But it, it is quieter at least when it's in eco mode. And here's my lawnmower for a comparison. So lawnmower, 88, it's quieter than a lawnmower, a little bit. Here's my truck's exhaust and the truck's engine. You know, in retrospect, I don't think that was helpful at all. It maybe gave you some comparison perspective, but this decibel meter on my phone is not accurate. It's windy out here, that's triggering it to fluctuate up and down. And Bottom line, subjectively speaking, if I'm inside the camper and the door's closed and I got the air conditioner running and this thing's outside, I could barely hear it at all. It's there, the air conditioner drones most of it out. If the air conditioner's off and it's running outside and I'm just using it to power some other stuff because my camper's battery went dead or whatever, yeah, I'll hear it. But in those cases, I won't be running it for an extended period of time. It'll be running for a few minutes and it'll be shut off. And just as a side note, I'd never run one of these things at a campground, even if the campground permits generators i think that's one of the most obnoxious things anybody could do this is just when i go way off grid or when the power goes out here at home that's it uh, i said it'd be a short video ended up being longer than i thought but um bottom line if you've got a 16 bh or any camper with a similar size air conditioner and whatnot this thing will power it just fine thanks for watching catch you in the next one